company, we are based in Belgium. And so our main activity is produce helmets, security um, purpose for law enforcement and for defense training. So we have different kind of uh, helmets, some for leisure, but also some for defense sector and that's why we are here at uh, this show. The different characteristic of the helmet is that first it's uh, completely conform uh, to EU norm uh, certification uh, helmet, so it's resistant to shock if you fall and uh, of course for the heat it's um, conformed to EU norm EN 166A, so it's certificate with BB of steel at 15 joules, so it's a strong helmet. Second characteristic, there is never fog, never in any condition, so you are really with a product that makes you able to have uh, good mobility and good security. And what's the difference between different the helmets, so the Work Pro is uh, the main helmet, but all the hole are blocked with steel. Here on the side, you can see uh, there is a space where some heat can go inside and we have put additional steel plates, so you are really protected. And we sell it with a collar additional, so nothing can go inside when you wear this helmet. So you are fully protected when you are using training ammunition. What's important on the helmet is that it's really a comfortable helmet, so it may look a little big, but when you are inside, you don't have any pressure on your head, so you can wear it for a long time with a lot of comfort. You have a, a wide vision, so it's a double screen with a class optical one. It's the best you can find on the market. A double screen, last treatment generation uh, regarding uh, anti-scratch, anti-UV and of course anti-fog. And uh, when you are inside, there is nothing which blocks your vision because it's wider than what your eyes can see. Uh, you have also a mesh uh, which, which is comfortable for the breathability, but uh, what's also nice is that you can see through the, through the mesh. So when you are in operation, you can have a, a really wide uh, looking of your environment because you can see down, you can see up, you can see on the side. Uh, what's also important is that you have inside multi-impact foam, so it's a high quality foam and uh, in case of shock or hit, they go back to their original form and you are really protected and they make uh, good safety for shock. Yeah. We have already sell some helmets for the training uh, in Belgium, in France, in Germany and they are now used by local police and also special forces in Belgium for the training. We are presenting today the FN Expert system, a training device for shooters, so to improve their uh, shooting capacities, but also for instructors to make it easier to follow, to analyze um, and evaluate the capacity of the shooter himself. What I'm showing you here is the module. This is the FN Expert. You can see it's a very compact, very light uh, design that can be fitted onto any training weapon or um, operational weapon. It functions with, um, in this case, an airsoft weapon because we are in a, an environment, of course, where we cannot use true firearms. But know that it can be fitted onto anything. So all you need is a Picatinny rail, upper, lower on either side, and an impulse. The impulse will activate the mode here and will show you on the screen a shot and an analysis of what happened before the shot. So it's not just a hole in a paper target which can be perfectly centered but the technique behind it, so the, the, the level of experience or the, uh, what the, the shooter did before can be completely bad. Or you can have a very good shooting technique but due to zeroing or ammunition quality a bad result on the paper. With the FN Expert, you will now be able to analyze all of that. So for the static, the classroom, the marksmanship training, this is the kind of target you use. You can use it anywhere. Also in some countries, there are restrictions on what kind of technology you can use on a firearm. For both in a Gegenstand in Germany, for example, lasers um, are very difficult and you cannot use them anywhere you want. Here is a LED display, so it's eye safe. If you want to set up a virtual shooting range, you can do it in a classroom, on a trade show, somewhere in the police office, um, anywhere where you have some place available, up to 10 meters with this target in a classroom. Then we have a more dynamic mode, 
where you can create scenarios, where the only limitation is the creativity of the shooting instructor. We're using prisms, the prisms reflect the light, and the, more, the further you go, the more prisms you need, you can go up to over 300 meters in range. This kind of module is a receiver that will be able to count the number of successful shots, so hit or not, but with, by use of the computer you can do a lot more with this. You can program targets around it, so you can fit this to your typical training targets or to the ones, for example, that we are showing here, which is a small silhouette target. All that we are saying is to the computer what is around this. So you, again, you're not limited to a single type of target. The targets you have in use can be um, programmed. Passive or with pop-up targets, for example. Communication is possible between our module that will know when it is hit and will make the target drop, even if there's no physical impact of the ammunition. So you can do it electronically or even with uh, airsoft weapons. So here, different impacts on the target. Imagine that you would create a scenario uh, where somebody would be using blank ammunition. Under stress situations, um, priority during training is not always aiming. Then the scenario will go on, the operator will go in um, towards the thread, shoot, and with blank there's no means for the instructor to control whether it was a successful shot or not. My name is Michael Engers, I'm the general manager of Steyr in Austria. Steyr is a weapon manufacturer in the center of Austria. We are producing military hunting rifles and sport rifles and pistols. Those are our products and this is one of the latest products we have. It's the STM. We made it uh, due to the situation that our former assault rifle was the AOG and uh, in most tenders it's written that we should have a, 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 a not a pop-up system and therefore we created a new uh, AR-15 version for the Steyr product. In the first part we have the barrel, the barrel is, is exchangeable, we can take it we can take it off so actually you, you, you turn it around and you can take the barrel out, it's a barrel exchanger with a locket system on the end. The, the second part what we have, if you put the barrel in, we have the upper receiver. The upper receiver is from aluminum. We have a lower receiver from aluminum. We have a normal NATO magazine in there and uh, a standard grip. We have an exchangeable uh, trigger system that you can use also big gloves to, to hold it. We have an ex extendable stock with seven stations so that you can put it in the right way what you really want to have and uh, as I explained it, uh, a really dry lubricated system on the inner side. And this is the, the famous version of the AOG. In the beginning it was uh, the version A1, it was changed to the version A2 and during the time to the A3 and it was upgraded due to, to different factors, we wanted to have uh, a, a different optics on, on, the, on the, the upper version, on the upper receiver. That means we had in the beginning a 1.5 magnification and right now we are using a 1.5 and 3 magnification. Additionally, we have different uh, optic systems in service. We have a Picatinny rail on top. We can, uh, we can use also Picatinny rounds on, on the these Picatry lanes on the optic systems, we can exchange the, the upper part to a Picatinny rail that mounts over the long uh, over the whole weapon. We can ha we have an exchangeable barrel as I showed before for the SD, uh, for the STM, and uh, we included also uh, a bolt release button for the for the weapon.
the design is very unique. It's a bullpup rifle. That means you have a really short weapon. It's in. It's a third of the, a third less than a normal weapon in in which is in use. We have, as I showed, an exchangeable uh, uh, barrel for the weapon. We have the housing in there. Then we have uh, the trigger the trigger system in the back. It's a. Uh, 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 trigger system from plastics, it released more than 1,000 rounds and uh, it's a, a really safe version of, of, the, of the rifle.